my best friend Oh yeah You stand by me And you believe in me Like nobody ever has When my world goes crazy You're right there to save me Make me see how much I have And I still tremble When we touch I know the look in your eyes When we make love You're more than a lover There could never be another To make me feel the way you do I look at you And I don't know where I'd be Without you here with me Life with you makes perfect sense You're my best friend I never had no one that I could count on I've been let down so many times I was tired of hurting So I tired of hurting <laughs> I'm sorry, I feel bad <laughs> No, it's fine I, I cried a few tears last night <laughs> <laughs> It was a feeling Known. For the first time, I didn't feel alone. You're more than a lover. There can never be another. Ooh, I'm, I'm nervous. I'm excited. I'm thrilled. I'm scared. I'm. I don't know. I'm marrying my best friend. I'm gonna spend my life with her. That's, that's pretty damn cool to me. <laughs> so, I love you, Jennifer. Love you to the moon and back. Always will. <laughs> Friends, we are gathered together in the sight of God to witness and bless the joining together of Daniel Fincher and Jennifer Oxley in Holy Christian Marriage. You're my best friend. Stand by me And you believe in me Like nobody ever has When my world goes crazy You're right there to save me You make me see how much I have And I still tremble Touch. I know the look in your eyes when we make love. You're more than a lover. There could never be another to make me feel the way you do. And oh, we just get closer. The covenant of marriage was established by God who created us male and female for each other. And I don't know where I'd be without you here with me. Life with you makes perfect sense. You're my best friend. With his presence and power, Jesus graced a wedding at Cana of Galilee and in his sacrificial love gave us the example for the love of husband and wife. Jennifer, will you have Daniel to be your husband, to live together in holy marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health? 
and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live. If so, answer, I will. I will. Daniel, I ask this question of you. Daniel, will you have Jennifer to be your wife, to live together in holy marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? If so, answer, I will. I will. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? Her mother and I. You will come together. The marriage of these two fine young people unites their families and creates a whole new family. And they ask for all of your blessing to be upon this marriage. They ask that you would, by God's grace, do everything in your power to uphold and care for them and to help them as they make their marriage strong. Let us pray. O eternal God, the creator and preserver of all life, the author of salvation and the giver of all graces, we ask you to bless and sanctify with your Holy Spirit Daniel and Jennifer who come now to join in marriage. Grant that they may give their vows to each other in the strength of your steadfast love and enable them to continue to grow in love and peace with you and with each other all the days of their lives, that they may reach out in concern and a service to the world and to do this all through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Jennifer, today our life begins. It's been one heck of a ride the past two and a half years. We finally made it. I'm glad it's not with anyone else but you. You're my best friend. <laughs> and I promise I'm never going to give you up, never going to let you down, never going to run around and desert you, never going to make you cry, never going to say goodbye, never going to tell a lie and hurt you. I vow to be your protector, lover, husband, and best friend. I'll try to cook and do laundry for you, but no promise on it. Promise is when it's turning out, okay? I will be there for you when seas are rough and when skies are sunny. I promise to be a shoulder to cry on and a hand to hold. Thank you for being my best friend and supporting me in my dreams. I love you to the moon and back. And Jennifer, would you please say your vows to him? The way you love me is like unlike anything I have ever known. With you, I feel safe, loved, accepted, and appreciated. You truly see me for who I am, and you love me at my best and at my worst. Being in your arms is my favorite place on earth. Our love has always been so simple, which is what I love most about it. Since the beginning, we have fit together so naturally, and deep down, I always knew it was you. It was almost like my heart was like, oh, there you are. I've been waiting for you. You show me what a true partnership can be. I feel blessed beyond words that we get to go through life together as husband and wife. You are the greatest man that I have ever known, and I could not imagine a better husband out there in the world. I am so grateful that we get to experience all life has to offer together. With you by my side, nothing seems too difficult. I can't believe I get to spend the rest of my life holding your hand. I get to fall asleep next to you every night and wake up to you every morning. I love you enough to fight for you, compromise for you, and sacrifice myself for you if need be. Enough to miss you incredibly when we are apart, no matter what length of time it is for, and regardless of the long distance. Enough to believe in our relationship, to stand by it through the worst of times, to have faith in our strength as a couple and to never give up on us. Enough to spend the rest of my life with you, be there for you when you need or want me, and never ever want to leave you or live without you. Today, I commit my life to you as your wife. You are the love of my life, Daniel, and I promise to let you know that every single day. 
I promise to take care of you, to love you, and to appreciate you every day. Today I give you my deepest love and devotion. I will support you in heartache and celebrate with you in joy. Today I pledge to love you. I love you. <laughs> Jennifer, I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of my vow. As a sign of my vow. And with all that I am. With all that I am. And all that I have. With all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May I please have his ring. Let us pray. Bless, O oh Lord, the giving of this ring, that he who wears it may live in your peace and continue in your favor all the days of his life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Would you please place this ring on his finger and repeat after me. Daniel, I give you this ring. Daniel, I give you this ring. As a sign of my vow, as a sign of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You have declared your consent and vows before God in this gathering. May God confirm your covenant and fill you both with grace. And I address this to the people who are here gathered from both families. Now that Daniel and Jennifer have given themselves to each other by solemn vows with the joining of hands and the giving of re and receiving of rings, I announce to you that they are husband and wife. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Those whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. Put your hands together. O oh God, you have so consecrated the covenant of marriage that in it is represented the covenant between Christ and his church. Send now your blessing upon this couple that they may surely keep their marriage covenant and so grow in love and godliness together that their home may be a haven of blessing and a place of peace through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And now may God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit keep you in love with each other forever. And may the peace of Christ abide in your home and be evident to all those who come to be with you. And I say this again to the families that are here gathered. May you bear witness to the love of God in the world. And may you help this young couple establish a home that will always be a haven of love and peace. Amen. Daniel, you may kiss Jennifer, your wife. You make me see how much I have. You can face outward. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Daniel Fincher.
Mr. and Mrs. Daniel Fincher. Yay. Oh, let's slam it on the table. <laughs> no, we're not doing shots. Gotta <laughs> <laughs> be real like everyone's going to anything. It's really good. It's really good. It's like pork and grape juice. It, that's really what it is. So. Oh, wait. This is what the mimosas are made out of. This is oh. what I make them out of at home. Oh, oh that's the same. Oh, that's good. That's it. Gracious Lord, we just thank you that we can share this beginning of the new marriage. Will you share, share the first meal that they will ever have together as a married couple? And may this be the beginning of a lifetime of happiness a time in which they will just grow together and become like one another and get distinctly different. Above all, O oh Lord, we ask that your blessing would rest upon them and just burn like a fire in their hearts when they see each other, that the love never slows and never dries. For this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. work with a girl at Walker County Ace Hardware. I thought I was going to hate it, but only to realize she would turn in to be my best friend. It wasn't long after meeting Jennifer that I soon found out about Daniel, the boy who made her heart go round. At first I thought he was just another boy dating one of my friends, but again, only to realize he would be the man of her dreams. She began to tell me why she started to fall in love with him, but I couldn't relate until I met him and watched the two drive together. You could tell they were meant to be. Knowing Jen and Daniel has truly been a blessing. Whether she was picking me up from the bar or whether Daniel and I were calling her from the bar <laughs> to see how she was doing. <laughs> she was always there for us, for me, for everyone through every circumstance. And she continued to show that side of her with Daniel. The kindness, the love, the support, and only kept her moving forward. I even asked Daniel one time, why do you want to be married to Jennifer anyhow? And his response was, she makes me want to be a better person than I was the day before. She saved me from destruction. I have my rough moments, but she still loves me. She's shown me unconditional love when she sure as hell didn't need to. She's a great cook, <laughs> sexy as hell, and simply because I love her. And a response that every girl should hear, although I don't know which is better. A response like that of why you love somebody or when you go to order seafood and all he wants is fries and burger, but she says, no, we're getting the seafood platter, only for him to respond, yes, ma'am. <laughs> At the end of the day, their love is strong, and I couldn't be more proud of the both of you as you're about to start a whole other adventure together as Mr. and Mrs. Fincher. Always remember life isn't easy, but that is exactly why you have each other, for the unconditional love, strength, and support of one another to make it through anything. I love you both very much, and my blessings are with y'all. Congratulations. And I don't have any Kleenex. Oh, I got you. I got you. No, Kleenex. How do you want to do this? My nose, but... Like, no pressure, right? Oh, none. That's cool. Oh, look, that's even going to take pictures. Oh, 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 oh. You got to get all the way in there. Oh, that's it for her. Who hit my jacket? This is embarrassing. Oh, hell, yes. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> 
Absolutely, it, it, it was a real shocker to me because my brother, I don't see him emotional a whole lot, and to see him, to see him tear up like that really showed me how much he loves Jennifer, for him to tear up like that, and he, even though it was kind of giggling when I was <laughs> that was pretty funny to me. But I mean, I, like I said, I can't fully explain how overjoyed I am for these two and for their marriage. And I, I, I sincerely hope and pray nothing but the best for the both of you. And I know my grandma alluded to it last night, but if, if you could just model your marriage after her and my people's, and after, after my nonas and my granddads, you, you, you will be absolutely amazing. And I have no doubt in my mind that if both, both my grandfathers were here to meet you, Jennifer, 
you, you'd be a little shocked. <laughs> you'd be a little shocked. But they, they would welcome you with open arms as they did pretty much anybody. And they would be so overjoyed and proud for the both of you. I know right now they're, they're up in heaven <laughs> watching down and smiling and, and as much as I would love for them to be here, it's not the case. But I know, I know that they would be so overjoyed for the both of you and proud of both of you. Um, better to a little bit. But <laughs> I, I, I pray nothing but the best for you. Over here. Today, no, Jennifer. Yeah. 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 Yeah.